Hello everyone, Knitting Hello podcast. I'm talking about uh, knitting today, three things. My family's in the garden because the weather is amazing. I'm actually gardening too, but I thought use this opportunity because the house is quiet to show you and talk about three things. Um, finished socks, where I will show you the chart. So probably the thumbnail had some kind of chart so you can follow and knit that. Uh, I will call it TT number one socks, which will be from Texture Socks. Um, I have done the similar video if you're interested with it CW number one which is a color work sock number one I call it that way so if you want to follow that one go and check it out it'll be the same kind of idea behind it quite quickly for some um, improvers advanced knitters to follow it without written instructions just me show telling and chart over here obviously you can use those charts and, and um, make a mittens if you want to Anyway, the other thing that I'm going to talk about will be a sweater and then test knit. So hopefully I will manage. So it'll be quite quick and sturdy. Let's do it. Right. I finished. I finished Sylvia's socks over here. It is a texture pattern based on knit and pearls only. There are... Um, what do you call it? Uh, shorties. I know this is kind of longer, but I want to fold it. So I'm going to show you on the soft blocker how it looks, but uh, we will have two charts that I mix together. We will have one chart over here, then another chart, and then one by one. So that's not really a chart. If you want to, you can knit the sock only with this texture or start straight away to um, chart two and knit this. So maybe on the screen now, I'm going to show you charts. So this is the chart number one, quite simple, uh, four stitch repeat. And then we have the other one, which is almost basically the same thing. It's just the difference with the rounds. More often you are involved to do to knit pearls. Um, so here there are. Pause the video if you want to and enjoy. Now, um, how the socks is, are knitted in a sec. First, let me show you on sock blocker. I would want this to be like this. So as you can see, we have delicate element over here and they're more involved and it's peeking out over here. And then we have the one by one. However, my pearl, I do, how you call it? East European pearl. So I have the twist knit on the other side so and when I'm per when I'm flipping it's a twist stitch so it's kind of an extra fancier way apparently these days it's very fashionable to have a twisted knit stitches I'm just saying more about that in the sweater project so how do you like it if you want to recreate that do the tt number one socks from knitting I love and I will be thrilled if you tag me knitting I love socks now I'm going to, I haven't blocked these actually. I need to block them and pack them and send them to Sylvia because I knitted them for Sylvia. So Sylvia, they are done. Um, hopefully you've seen, as you are a member, the vlog that I was in the car finishing the heel. Done. So how they are knitted. You cast on 24 stitches using magic cast on which basically means that you have 12 stitches on one knitting needles um that's what i use you can use tunisian cast on um, or any way to cast on and start the heel and then what i do uh i'm going to link the tutorial down below i'm increasing every second round on both sides so four increases overall in the round every second round until I get a certain number of stitches. Over here, I did 64. Um, so I use yarn, yarn over method to increase because you don't have to think. First round, you just do yarn over. The second round, you just knit that yarn over and uh, making sure it's not showing the hole. It's just basically twisted so it's closing that gap. Just that note for the beginner knitter. And then once that done, I'm going, I was normally switching to a nine inch circular knitting needle. So I have that extra round just to switch. And I started the chart um, and I was just making it, marking for the heel after salt heel. Um, and then I was switched to the second char uh, chart B, let's say that way. And then I switched to um, do one by one, finishing with tubular bind off. 
I hope you followed. <laughs> and then once I finish, the last thing I do, I insert true afterthought heel. True means that you have to cut the yarn and then you unravel and then you knit in the round. And they're making the little kind of cold frame for me. Anyway, let's talk. Keep on talking. So that's tutorial. I have that too. I'm going to link it down below. Um, I think I said that all, right? And the true, so we have a tutorial for the toe, for the heel, for the tubular bind off. And then you have the charts you set. And this is fingering weight yarn, and you can knit uh, 48 stitches, 56 stitches, 64 stitches, 72 stitches, because the chart is four stitch repeat. So anything that it's kind of in those number, any number that you can divide by four will work. Simple, simple. Just remember for the beginner knitter, if you want to uh, try uh, these socks on the sole part, we have stuck in a stitch. So we only repeat on the foot section, this, and the leg section, this. So maybe I'll, I'll call the charts like this. Chart for the, that's normally what I do with my in my patterns, for the uh, foot and chart for the leg. So you can just extend that chart if you want to. Play with them, so like I did, or you can individually have. So basically it's like three in one socks, okay? I think that's too long for talking about socks, but I hope you enjoyed. I have something extra for you if you want to knit them up. Okay, let's go to the sweater. So where I am in the sweater, we are talking about wish, Wishbone Sweater by Kutovakika. <laughs> for me, it's so hard to say, but Veronica, uh, and she has a little boy, so I would recommend you to check her channel. I'm going to link down below to her channel and to the pattern. Um, yeah, she has a lovely vlog uh, when her uh, little boy arrived and here all the sweater. And what I did, I've done that much. So I, sorry for the sounds, I did decreases because we're knitting this way. So I have less and less and less in the section. That's what the pattern tells you. And uh, I'm going to link also to the Yeah, I'm going also link to the tutorial. So not only Veronica has a pattern you can purchase, but she has a full tutorial how to make this. Um, so basically by watching, you'll see certain techniques are used. You can see how the, the cable stitch is done, how the decreases are done, everything is done. So basically I was told to stop, but there was information try it on and see if that's your length. So obviously that's not my length. I'm like 5'10", so 177 centimeters. I'm tall. Um, therefore, I'm going to add an extra one and then I'm going to do and whatever pattern tells you, uh, the ribbing, which is one by one. I have three millimeter in it in middle. Uh, I didn't do that. 275 over here. I'm kind of regretting it because I'm afraid that when I block it, it not go it's very, you know, um, it's, Hopefully it will uh, stand like Veronica's. Uh, as you can see, I somehow missed my, hopefully you can see that, come on. I missed my holders, um, which I basically just used progress keepers, just hold those stitches because I thought, I oh, just less than 10 stitches, come on, it will hold. No, unless my toddler is just snipping it off, but no worries, I can kind of pick it up and um, do that. I'm actually thinking about vests because the weather gets warmer and if you check the projects on the Bradley page there is a few people, definitely one, <laughs> hopefully a few, uh, that they made a vest and it looks amazing and I want a vest and I want a sweater. <laughs> Although it is labour of love, a pure love if you ever would want to attempt to knit the, these cables. Um, there is like like I said, one by one ribbing and then a cable. So, and I'm not saying a lot because basically that's what's in the tutorial, so you know. Um, I'm interested about this construction, how it's going to lie down. I hope it's going to draw, dry, uh, fall on me. At the moment, it's very fitted. But I'm hoping that this yarn will stretch as wool sometimes stretches a little bit. So, 
that's my progress one more repeat i'm going to do one by one and then i'm going to finish that i'm hoping to have another episode when i have that done however having two kids under two i would never thought that I, my gardener will look the way it looks and I would never thought that I will have so many knits especially cable knitting you probably won't even see the previous videos that I have any cable knitting done and especially sweater cable knitting anyway I have a few sweaters on the channel that I've knitted so you can check that out check playlist um, however I have signed for a test knit mother of two no time whatsoever and I'm like Will I make it? 14 days, 14 days to do it. So I've showed you probably, I'm showing you hopefully over here again, if you are interested. I was able to just show you the, my cast on last time and I can show you now. Hello, okay, sorry. Because something my cake is doing and I'm literally afraid that. So here it is. I have front, the back, I have front, and I have started the sides. So hopefully I have marked for those little I-cord um, things that you will wrap around. I love it so much. The yarn is beautiful to knit. Um, I have a mixture of merino, cashmere and Selena in it. And it's a purple color. So I'm hoping it will be like, it'll be lovely. So especially now in this weather when it's be that should be done by now. But uh, um, we have a lovely group in the, in on Instagram. There are three testnitters per uh, age. So we have z uh, zero to three months, uh, four till six, maybe six to nine, I'm guessing nine to 18. And then you have like uh, two to three and three to four year old. I'm guessing over here, all that stuff. But you can definitely check that once it'll be released. Um, so this is a mini ve uh, vest and there will be a junior vest. Well, I presume there'll be an adult vest because lately Nash is just uh, just making that thing with her patterns that she makes them for little ones, but also for the bigger people, <laughs> which is so cute and cool. So I'm so happy with that. This is, I don't like pickup. Mm. Um, and maybe what I would do next time, I would make just those kind of, um, you knit till the end of the round, and then you slip for stitch and it creates nicely. So basically that's a slip stitch and it creates nice chain on the side. So like that one kind of knit stitch looking on the side, it'll be equivalent of two rows. We have a ratio over here to pick a certain way. So it wouldn't be the way if I had that thing done, but we shall see. Anyway, I have planned this for my little girl, uh, but you can definitely without, if you don't want those kind of a wavy things for a boy just omit that um and make it for a boy too um yeah so i don't know we'll just see how it goes because you never know and i think this is a huge thing so let me just i'll hide between two garments and see if i can put it on the top nail that's the proper name for that so I think I've said enough. The garden is blooming. The last I'm actually catch up with the vlogs for my extra content for my members. If you don't know what that is, YouTube lets me to have a membership. Um, there is a join button next to subscribe button. Unfortunately, I think still it's available only on PCs or laptop. If you go on the browser, you can see it. Otherwise, there's no access. <laughs> and uh, with the price of a one coffee, you can uh, for a month, you can be a member. And I at the moment including vlogs that's the max i can do but at least it'd be nice uh, what you call it uh reminder my vlogs three five minutes literally if i take a phone and just have a snips of something i'm making voice over now so i'm hoping my members like that um i haven't heard any complaints <laughs> but it's very raw material let's say it that way i love uh, veronica's vlogs they're so polished everything is beautiful <sighs> I have real life and mess stuff coming up over here. Obviously, she has also real life, but her life looks more my not really. Uh, but anyway, so if you love gardening, uh, you can see a snips of that. Family walks here and there. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. And I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Bye. <sighs> next, I'm hoping to record that I have the finished test knit.
maybe I'll start something. I have to still finish Mittens, true. So maybe that will be the thing because I cannot promise that I will have ribbing done for the sweater because I'm telling you, the time that I have for knitting is very limited. You have kids, you have it limited, but it's a labor of love and you could see the progress and it's the only thing that it's different every day that you can pick up different projects and enjoy this. Otherwise, you have to stick to routine. You go off, your child goes off <laughs> and so on, so on. So obviously I need to mention over here, I have a brilliant support by my mother-in-law who is amazing cook who kind of gets us to do things gets us out of the house and when I'm out of the house I do five minutes here and there and it's a big thing in the garden the same thing in the knitting five ten minutes if you're a knitter you know you can do a bit here and there and it thing is growing so the same thing is in the garden so I'm kind of ha happy about that obviously we had it rains today it's just like sunny day so we're taking it so I'm just hoping I'm going to get some plants because I don't even have those little things, seedlings, whatever you call it, to put in the ground because I think I have mice around because they add my peas when I put them in the ground. And then uh, the weather, we have to have sun and so on, so on. So anyway, in this next vlog, so it'll be April part two, I'll be showing you the garden quickly. And I think I had some talk through quickly too. So uh yeah, maybe it's not the stuff here for you because I was talking about garden, so maybe I'm just editing it without talking me about it, just the footage. Uh, so if you want to hear what I was talking about, you can go and uh, support this little channel and this lovely family. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Bye.